Hi, Larry Stewart here with 4constructionpros.com. We're at Caterpillar's Edwards Demonstration Area, and I want you to meet Bob Shoup, who's senior uh, demonstrator and uh, instructor with Caterpillar's building and construction product groups specifically for work tools and attachments. Bob, the Caterpillar smart attachments are, are really bringing a, a level of intelligence to the front end of skid steer loaders. Absolutely, Larry. They're a game changer into the industry right now. So engineering, about three to four years ago, decided to integrate with our new D3 series machine line, three new smart attachments, a grader, a smart dozer, and a backhoe. With the integration of this, it's like a marriage or a handshake between the tool attachment and the machine upon startup. So once the machine has recognized that it has this attachment on there, it's gonna ask you what mode you wanna select. Now the selection could either be, I wanna be a bulldozer today, or I wanna run as a skid steer. So when you integrate in that fashion, what you're doing is when you do the attachment mode, then the tool is being operated from the controls inside the cab, basically your, your joysticks. So on the joysticks, with this particular tool right here, this smart dozer, there's a slope sensor on there and slope assist. And what that does, it helps make fewer passes and very good gradable passes. So it doesn't give you so much inhalation in your push, it helps an operator become a lot better. Yeah, you, we were talking about that. That's kind of the, the same architecture that's used in the stable blade that's on the on the dozer, right? Similar to that, yes. Yeah. And we, we kind of revolutionized that on our K-series as well as clear up through our T's uh, on, the, on the larger dozers. So yes, they've captured a lot of that. And with that, uh, and a slope sensor with the assist, this blade here tilts and angles and raises and lowers. And it'll give you a tilt of about 10 degrees and it'll give you an angle of about 30. And along with that, you can set your slope. So if I want to within the cab, I can memorize what degree, and it's all in the advanced machine display, it is gonna show me my degree or my level in percent or slopes, whatever I want, degrees. And once I've done that, I can memorize that. So as I'm cutting a ditch or working on a grade to a road, I can turn around and come back and I can mirror image that by hitting a button twice and it's gonna roll back to me there. Then in the point that I wanna to go to grade zero, I just hit the top button one time and I come back to perfectly level. So right. it's a real dream for an operator to run. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. So that that handshake when you when you start this machine up with the with the electronics plugged in, that affects the the control options that you've got too, right? So basically, yes. Yeah. So both your machine and your tool attachment are talking to each other, and so customarily on a skid steer loader, your right joystick is going to raise and lower the boom and tilt and dump the bucket. Well, what it does now, it becomes a bulldozer, and it gives you an option for two modes. It'll give you a tilt mode that allow you to keep the booms in the boom stop, and then the, the blade will basically tilt back and forth as you're grading and leveling, or for a person like me that's got many years running a bulldozer, I kind of want to raise and lower that blade myself, so I, I can have the lift mode. So you have those two options once you have started up and selected the attachment to run. So what are the applications for this kind of intelligence in a dozer blade? I and mean, where does it really shine? Okay, so several different spots. Land clearing, grubbing of ground, fine grading, parking lots, buildings, accessories, cutting ditches, cutting grade. With the optional IMU that you can add to the car body of the machine, on your display, it's gonna give you an indicate only of main fall. And with that main fall, it's either gonna let the operator know that, hey, I'm running flat, or I'm starting to build a 3% rise, or I'm going down 3%. So it gives that indication along with the slope. When you set your slope for a one or two, 3% grade, it follows that in the assist mode. So it makes it so much easier for the operator to make fewer passes and a couple of things, it saves fuel you know, when you do less, and frustration. Sure. I think anybody in the past that's run a some sort of a dozer blade on any type of machine will understand the assist that we're giving us now makes it so much easier for a novice 
as well as a guy that's been in a seat for 20 years. You mentioned grubbing and, and clearing. Where, where, what advantages does, does this kind of system offer and that sort of rough work? Well, take a look at the blade itself. Mm -hmm. It's 92 inches wide and it angles up to 30 degrees both ways and gives you that 10 degree tilt. Mm -hmm. But look how robust it is. It's, it is patterned after our VPAT blade that we're running on our small tractors now. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a, uh, an area where you're gonna do some land clearing or pushing off some heavy dirt and soil, this is the ticket right here. Right. It's gonna have a lot of endurance for you. It's got uh, replaceable cutting edges. It's very, very stable. But when you're doing your finish passes, whether you're grading out a building site or a flat pad for a parking lot, you're gonna have a great finished product when you're done. Yeah, yeah, so the point there is, is it's a sophisticated dozer, but it's tough enough to do Absolutely. clearing and gr grubbing and, and pioneering. You know, Thinking back 15 or 20 years in the small skid steer loader market, they never thought they would be running with the large stuff. You know, it was always kind of had its place on the ranches and the farms and for landscapers and that. Our machines have gotten so big and powerful and so advanced and technology has become such a huge factor that we are following that wave right now and we're actually creating the wave. We are making uh, tools that are like we talked earlier, they're game changer changers. Yeah, this this machine, this 299 uh, D3, has got to have dozing capacities somewhat comparable with the low end of your dedicated tractors, I would think. Absolutely, absolutely. And with the 299, some of the improvements they've made this year with that is the door opens wider. They've put a little bit more stable stability under the undercarriage. We offer a steel track now on the 299 go with the dozer blade, there's a lot of opportunities. And I really suggest on this dozer blade, if there's some interest, to get down to your local cat dealer. One thing, Larry, that I did forget to say was this is supported by the 279, the 289, and the 299 D3 high flow machine, either the XE or the XPS machine to operate this. All right, well, Bob, thanks so much for your help with us. I appreciate you bet, it. Larry.